going to show you a drywall pro trick that's going to help you repair any size hole in the wall. This is a doorknob hole that's been repaired several times and kind of soft. So what I did, this is a pro trick right here, is I cut a little bit bigger piece of drywall than the hole in the soft spot. And I'm going to trace around it to get a perfect cut. Just using a pencil, probably went about two inches bigger than the actual soft spot from the repaired drywall from that doorknob. So once you get it marked out, take your uh, drywall keyhole saw and cut around the pencil mark. Try and keep it close, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Poke the end through first and start cutting. It's easier to cut down than to cut up. One last cut here, and we'll have a perfect square just like the small piece of drywall I cut. Get that out of the way. Get the dust out, kind of square it off a little bit. Next, I'm going to take a furring strip and cut it about, the hole's probably four inches, so I'm going to cut it about eight inches. Next, another pro trick, you put a drywall screw right in the center of the furring strip. That gives you something to hold on to while you're putting the screws through the drywall into the furring strip. This is a super strong way to repair drywall. It also works on larger holes as well. Put a screw on each side. Don't go too far in the drywall, just enough to sink the screw past and in the paper. Then you'll want to remove the center screw. Now you can see, I put an arrow on the little piece of drywall so I know exactly how I traced it. Then you just want to attach it using an inch and a quarter screws. Make sure there's no paper sticking up. Take your fiberglass mesh tape, cut it right at the seam basically, and go around the perimeter on each joint. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a quick setting joint compound that comes in a powder form whenever you use a fiberglass mesh tape. You also want to push in the tape on the joint so it's actually going inside that little joint. Okay, I've got the 20 minute Easy Sand joint compound already mixed up. What I like to do is just place the mud or joint compound on one side of the knife. That way you're not putting too much on at one time. Placement of the mud on your knife really helps to keep you from piling up a bunch of joint compound and minimizes any sanding you're gonna to have to do. So once you have the mud up, you just wanna kinda of smooth it out. Lift up on one edge of the drywall knife or the other. I'm using a stainless steel six inch taping knife for the first coat. You just wanna remove any lines if possible. You can scrape it once the hot mud sets up. Want to keep it pretty tight though. No big lines, no big edges. All right, there's the first coat, pretty smooth. Again, that's a 20 minute quick setting joint compound I used over the fiberglass mesh tape. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and the 20 minute mud is dry enough for me to go ahead and scrape any high edges or humps. Really isn't much, but you just wanna go over it and knock anything down that's sticking up. I like to feel, you can always feel stuff in the repaired mud, that helps a lot. So I'm gonna use the all purpose joint compound and my 12 inch taping knife to do the second coat. Again, you just want to load your knife on one side or the other to minimize piling up the joint compound. This all-purpose joint compound will dry really quick because I'm just doing a real thin coat. Again, you just want to make sure you don't have a bunch of humps or lines. Smooth that out one last time. There's the second coat. One thing I do want to mention is I add a little water to the joint compound just to thin it out and get any air bubbles out. That really helps a lot with uh, not having to sand or not having to sand as much. 
All right, so there is the all-purpose joint compound that's dry. It's been about four hours. I'm going to go ahead and hit it one more time with the thin down all-purpose joint compound and my 12-inch taping knife. This whole project I'm also skim coating, so that's why it looks like there's joint compound everywhere. So there's the last coat. Looking good, nice and smooth. Are you a DIYer, painter, contractor? Let me know in the comments, just kind of curious. All right, let me get a little closer up so you can see. Nice and smooth, barely minimal sanding, if at all. Subscribe for more skim coating and drywall tips. Thanks for watching.